This video contains excerpts from our playbook. Download it from our website. Welcome to our drawing, Day 1, C-Series Server Deployment for Cisco Collaboration RAID Configuration, 8-Disk RAID 5. This task is not required for initial BE deployment. It's good to know how to do this anyway. For a standard C-Series with DAS, this task is required. In this drawing, we'll describe the tasks required to configure RAID for these TRCs. UCS C220M3S SFF TRC number 1 and UCS C220M3S SFF TRC number 3 BE6000 High Density Server. On day 1, we deploy the C-Series server itself. On day 1, we also deploy the hypervisor our ESXi host. Only a subset of the tasks are required for BE deployment, but we'll run through everything for completeness. Once RAID has been configured, you can either configure server monitoring or move on to install your ESXi host, the first step in ESXi host deployment. The following tasks are part of configuring RAID. Access the SIMC GUI, RAID Configuration, Web BIOS Utility, or RAID Configuration SIMC, and evaluate results. Enterprise 20 uses the Web BIOS Utility to configure RAID. Configuring RAID using SIMC is a newer capability which we haven't experimented with yet because we've had no issues with Web BIOS. Make sure you have the correct RAID settings before starting the configuration process. There are two options for configuring RAID. RAID configuration using the Web BIOS utility and RAID configuration using SIMC. We'll only look at the Web BIOS utility for now. We'll come back to the SIMC option when we can. Click on Launch KVM Console or the icon in the toolbar to launch a KVM session. With the KVM console open, switch to the SIMC GUI and on the Server Summary page, click Power Cycle Server. Click OK to the dialog box and immediately switch to the KVM console. Immediately switching to the KVM console, you can watch the server boot. Be patient. Press Ctrl H to launch the Web BIOS utility. We are configuring RAID for C220 TRC number 1 and number 3, which both come with 8 300 GB SATA drives. You should see these in the physical view in the right pane. A BE comes with RAID pre-configured. The drives will show as online in the physical view. Click Configuration Wizard. Select the radio button beside New Configuration and click Next. With eight drives in RAID 5 configuration, we'll have a single RAID 5 drive group containing all eight drives. Data is written on different drives for better performance but no redundancy. The parity block striped across the drives gives us redundancy. RAID 5 provides good performance we can recover from a single drive failure, and so RAID 5 is a good option for balancing performance and redundancy. Click Yes to clear the configuration. Select the radio button beside Manual Configuration and click Next. For our RAID 5 configuration with 8 drives, we need a single drive group. Select all eight drives and click Add to Array. The drives you selected and added to the array will appear in the Drive Group pane under Drive Group 0. Click Accept DG. Your eight drives are in a group. Click Next to proceed. You need to add the drive group to the span. Select Drive Group 0 and click Add to Span. Now that you have the drive group in the span, click Next. 
The RAID level should be RAID 5. All of the defaults are fine for the virtual drive definition, except strip size should be set to 128 kilobytes. Configure the size by clicking Update Size. The RAID volume will be 1.903 terabytes as indicated in the doc wiki. Click Accept to proceed with the configuration. The Write Policy, Write Back with BBU, ensures that the battery cache controller is used for Write Back. Not selecting the Write Policy as Write Back with BBU, Battery Backup Unit option, results in Select Write Through, which does not use the battery backed cache, and therefore results in severely degraded performance. We're ready to complete the configuration. Click Next. You are presented with a configuration preview. Click Accept. Saving the configuration is a good idea. Click Yes. The initialization is normally very fast, but sometimes can take 45 minutes, or maybe a little longer. The RAID volume is configured. Click Home. The hard drives are now correctly configured for RAID. Time to install ESXi. We listed server monitoring as optional. This really should be done as soon as possible, but the server can be deployed first and this step done later. Coming up next, Cisco Collaboration on C-Series ESXi Host Deployment ESXi Installation. Please note, we'll do the C-Series Server Monitoring lesson once we've got more base content posted. Thanks for watching.